Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pankaj and today uh, we have Monika Gwalani with us. She is uh, a master's student in engineering management and uh, we are going to discuss in detail the entire pro uh, course structure that she followed, uh, how uh, she broke uh, the course structure between fall, winter and different terms, how she uh, did different courses and also about the co-op and various different details. So let's go ahead. Let's uh, first ask uh, Monica, could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Thank you, Pankaj. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me on this video. So hello everyone, my name is Monica Gwalani and currently I'm doing my master's in engineering management program at the University of Ottawa. So I landed in uh, Canada uh, last year, September 21. Uh, then I started my uh, course with the university and before that I was uh, in India and uh, I did my bachelor's in electronics and communication and I was graduated in 2018 and after that I started working with Accenture. So I have a total experience of 3.5 years. I worked there as application development analyst and then I decided to pursue my master's and here I am <laughs> doing my master's. All right, thank you so much Monica for that sweet introduction. Uh, so next I would like to ask is uh, what is the course structure or the program structure that you have followed and that you advise the students to follow? Okay, so this particular program engineering management has total 30 credits. So I am planning to doing it in three terms, but now university like uh, it used to be like that in the University of Ottawa you uh, had this uh, privilege to complete your course in how many terms you want to like there is no pressure that you have to complete it in four terms or three terms so i plan to complete it in three terms like you can take a um, maximum of 12 credits in one term so in fall i completed all my compulsory courses so in fall i took uh, 12 credits then in winter i took 10.5 and summer is my break where i'm doing my internship and my last term would be uh, the next fall where I'll be completing my rest of the credits. So as I mentioned, the university has changed yeah. the criteria. So uh, I just want to uh, you know, put some highlight on this because a lot of students are asking uh, this thing to me. Yeah. So earlier, um, the university used to charge the fee as per the term that you are doing. And now they are charging us um, in terms of the credits that you are taking. So now the fees is credit wise, so it does not depend you want to complete your course in one term or two terms or three terms. Yeah. So that's the thing that they have changed. Yeah. And we are creating a lot of confusions around. Yeah. So as uh, she said, so she has done four courses in her fall term. That's a great, great, great thing because as a newcomer, to Canada, doing four uh, courses is difficult. Yeah. But as she said, that now currently we have uh, the credit-based fee payment rather than the uh, full-term-based fee payment. So you can do as many courses as you like. The restriction is four, but even yeah. if you do two or three, it doesn't matter a lot. Also, uh, Monica, you had mentioned about internship that you are doing. Yeah. So did you apply this through the university portal, that is the co-op navigator, or did you uh, find this on your own? Okay, so engineering management program it does not come under university's co-op thing. Okay. okay. So you cannot register for the co-op. This is not a co-op program. Okay. So what we uh, did, like me and uh, a lot of the students studying in uh, this program, we applied for the internships by our own. So as we know that for the summer term, uh, you don't require work visa to uh, do your full-time yeah. job. So in the summers, uh, we started our internship, which we uh, like uh, landed by our own. Okay. And uh, but uh, many of the students are there, which uh, like like who uh, got this like for the eight months, like yeah. not for the summer as yeah. well as for the fall, fall term. Yeah. So for that, university does provide the co-op support letter. Yes. So we applied uh, through the university. University provide the support letter that you attach with your visa application to the IRCC. Yes. So that's the entire process. Even if your program is not a co-op program, but university supports the idea of co-op program as well. Yes. So this is the same thing that I mentioned uh, during our live talk to the students uh, in my previous video, uh, wherein I told you that you can apply internship outside, but do, men uh, do make sure that you inform that to the university mm -hmm. so that they give you the co-op support letter so that you can apply for the co-op work permit. So with this work permit, what happens is you can work 40 hours with the internship company, or with the company, and you can also work 20 hours additionally as part-time. Uh, so Monica, what about, like, how did you find this internship? Was it difficult finding an internship? 
or was, is, is it easy? Because most of the students, what they think is uh, finding an internship through university is easier when compared to outside. So how was your experience with yeah, that? It, it, is, it is tough, to be honest. Okay. Like we started uh, finding our internships in January itself. Okay. And I got my internship in April. Okay. So it was a tough thing because you don't know. Like yeah. resume does matter a lot. Yes. Yeah. Where they, I was not even getting my my resume was not getting selected for the okay. company. So it was difficult. But when you know to which exact position you are applying and you know what all keywords are required in your resume, your resume will definitely get selected for it. Now it's up to you. You prepare your interview. How well you you know yeah. prepare for it and everything. So yes, it is difficult, but uh, it's not impossible. I would say. Perfect. Yeah. So thank you, Monica, for that motivation for students. Uh, also, uh, so how is uh, engineering management masters uh, the difficulty level? How would you consider? Is it pretty easy? Is it easy when compared to undergrads like uh, people, the international students from all over yeah. the world, they come in. So is it easy for them to clear this and find an internship as well? Because they need to focus on internship uh, four yeah. months prior to their start, right? So how is the subjects like? Um, are are they easy or tough? Yeah, they're good. I think it's all practical knowledge. Okay. Yeah. So all the assignments that you'll be doing will be mostly the group assignments. You'll be working in a group and doing okay. practical studies. You're doing the case studies. You are you know studying market trends and everything. Yeah. So when you are um, uh, experienced yeah so this course is really good for you because okay. you already have worked in a team you are yes. doing management program yeah. so for managing people you need you know experience in a company yeah. you know what how, how organization work so uh, the difficulty level is medium like okay. it is very interesting depends upon all the practical uh, stuff and everything yes. so it's overall it's really good all right and so last uh, monica last question that i'd like to ask you is what are the suggestions and advice that you as an experienced senior would give to uh, the incoming students or the students who would be watching this video in coming future yeah um if i talk about in terms of the international student because i am an international yeah. student so managing time is really 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 very important over here because you will be doing a lot of courses here and another thing you're part-time yeah. and everything you will be finding an internship you have that pressure on your mind that you have to cover everything over here so prioritizing task and managing your time is very much important and from the day one when you start here you have to you know make your to-do list what you want to do in one day otherwise your mental health will suffer okay so just one advice prioritize your work and manage your time that's it perfect thank you so much <laughs> monica so uh time and time waits for none that's the saying and that's actually required as an international student because you are leaving your home country you're coming here you need to work you need to study you need to earn for your living and considering in engineering management uh we have monica i will also uh, request monica to give her linkedin profile for in sure. my description so that you can uh, connect with her but i would recommend you guys to uh, mention all your questions in the comment section so that the other students also uh, use those questions and they can make uh, use of uh, the answers that monica provides and just a slight hint that i'd like to provide you guys she is the current president of pdc that is the professional development club and she has been elected as the president she is at the topmost position right now and i will uh, i'll be making another video with her and please do watch that video as well if you would like to be a volunteer or a part of pdc but thank you so much uh, monica for all the information that you have provided uh, regarding the man engineering management masters uh, thank you so much uh, students for watching this video if you did like this video please click the thumbs up button please do share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching have a good one thank you